what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? As suspected, several Philadelphia Eagles players has said that they plan to not attend the traditional post-Super Bowl victory party at the White House because of their opposition to Donald Trump. As they should, because what decent human being would want to be around that scumbag in the first place? Following the team's historic win against the New England Patriots on Sunday, Eagle safety Malcolm Jenkins, defensive end Chris Long, and running back LeGarrett Blunt have explicitly said they will not meet with the demander and thief at the White House. Since September, Trump has waged a personal war against protests of racism in the NFL and his persistent intervention in the sport, criticizing players who take a knee and the NFL owners who allow them has only sparked a backlash in the sport and further protest on the field. Safety Malcolm Jenkins told CNN, Nah, I personally do not anticipate attending. His teammate wide receiver Tory Smith said earlier this week, we read the news just like everyone else. You see Donald Trump tweet something. We have those conversations in the locker room, just like everyone else does in the workplace. We're very informed about what's going on and we're trying to continue to educate ourselves. I'm not saying we're right about everything, but we're willing to figure out what is right. We're willing to work with people to find the best way to move forward because there are problems and we're not shy about speaking up about them. Defensive player Chris Long skipped the White House visit last year too when he was on the Patriots. When asked about this year's visit on a podcast, Chris said, no, I'm not going to the White House. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who in their right mind would want to visit somebody's house who talked about them like a dog, called them sons of bitches? Who in their right mind would do something like that? Trump gonna have to start paying athletes like he paid entertainers to be around him. Nobody wants to be around him. Nobody wants to be really associated. I mean, people with decency. Nobody with decency wants to be around. Don't want to be caught dead with them. Trump's the kind of person, he got to pay for everything. Anything he want, he got to pay. You know, he has to pay for friends. He has to pay for people to hang out with him. He has to pay for booty. Ain't no woman in her right mind would just look at him and like, he's attractive. Ooh, he turns me on. No, nigga, pay me. You ugly. You stank. Your breath stank. Pay me. Ooh, look at the orange man. Ugh. I bet his, when women sleep with him, I bet they be calling up their friends like, girl, ooh, ooh, he's, ooh, he's just touching me. And I was like, my, makes my skin crawl, but I'm just trying to get this money. Got to get this money. Get this money. <laughs> his own wife do the same thing. You ever see how his wife interact with him? She don't like touching him. You can tell. She's always like, ugh, she's like cringing when he's around. But I bet you when he's not around, I bet she like run around the house like a little, like a little kid and playing. And I bet she's just full of laughter. I bet it's just, I bet her whole house is like that. Like, when Trump ain't around, I bet it's, like, lively and upbeat. Like, you know, people enjoying life. I do believe that, as an American, it is morally wrong to be in the company of Donald Trump, someone who colluded with our enemies. It's also morally wrong to be around Donald Trump because this is the same guy who called an American war hero a loser. He called Mexicans rapists and criminals. He called white 
nationalist, good people. He disrespected a war hero's wife. Another war hero's mother and father. This is a four-time draft dodger. No wonder he hates people in the military so much. He's a four-time, not one, not two, not three, four-time draft dodger. This is the same guy who cheated on his pregnant wife and was running around with a porn star while she was nursing her infant child. This dude is scum. Donald Trump, your president, is one racist, vile maniac. Who would want to support such a person? Who would want to be around such a person? I got it. A racist, vile maniac. And throw in a couple of buck dancers. No more talk. What the talking about?